These are the fundamentals of dribbling. First, you can't dribble with two hands. That is called double dribble. And when you think about dribbling, think about it as though you were driving and you had a driver's license. Because when you know how to dribble this basketball, it allows you to go anywhere on the floor that you want to go. First thing you want to do is eyes up so you can see everything out on the floor. You will be able to see the basketball beneath you. So you don't necessarily have to look down, but you have to trust your eyes. And if you look straight ahead, you can see right, you can see left, you can see up, and you can see down. But if you're only looking down, you only got one direction you can see. So when you're bouncing the basketball, I got my eyes up, I can see my teammate over here, I can see my teammate over there, and then I can switch hands, I can see here, I can see there. So when you're bouncing the basketball, you want good balance, you want to stay tight, and if you need to take off and run, you can move with the basketball. Very rarely do you want to stand straight up bouncing the basketball. Because when you're standing straight up, then that defender can get into you and force you to go backwards. So you always want to be in what we call a triple threat position where you're bouncing the basketball, and if you need to take off, you can take off. Now, dribbling the basketball, it's all about your fingertips. You want your fingertips on the basketball. You don't want to be underneath the basketball. You want to be on top of the basketball. And if you can stay on top of the basketball and use your fingertips, then you can play games with it. You can bounce it, you can make music, and dance with it. Those are some of the drills that I would do to kind of get a feel for the ball and get loose, and I hope that helps you.